Hassan Khan here of Time to Football, and we are here at an NFL Pro Day. We're on the beautiful campus of Kennesaw State University. All the fans have come out in attendance, and so many people from different NFL teams are here as well. You're going to see people from the Packers, the Titans, the Raiders, the Chiefs, and so forth. And we wanted to show you guys what it's really like at an NFL Pro Day and go behind the scenes. The city of Kennesaw is located about 25 miles north of Atlanta. Not only did Kennesaw athletes participate in Pro Day, but 29 athletes from 14 smaller schools did as well. To start off the day, athletes participated in the bench press and vertical. Then, the meat of the day was filled with multiple 40-yard dashes, followed by shuttle drills. Scouts conversed with athletes throughout the day to try to get to know their character as well. After Kennesaw, we wanted to experience another pro day as well, so a few days later, I hit the road to downtown Atlanta to attend Georgia State University's Pro Day. This brought in more scouts than Kennesaw. A total of 21 NFL teams were present. The big draw was wide receiver Penny Hart who ran the 40-yard dash, shuttle drills, and benched 18 reps of 225. But many more athletes had the opportunity to shine. So after all the drills were complete here at Pro Day, it was time for the interview portion for the Georgia State players. I noticed that it was going to take some time for the players to get ready to be interviewed, so I decided to step outside the facility to answer a phone call real quick. When I tried to go back inside, I noticed that the doors were locked. I tried knocking on it, but no one was there to let me in. So now, I am right beside the building in this beautiful alleyway, as you can tell, right behind me. While we were unable to interview players at Georgia State, we caught up with one particular NFL draft hopeful a few days earlier at Kennesaw. Darnell Holland, a running back that ran a 4.3840 and averaged a ridiculous 10 yards a carry in his college career. So what do you got to say to everyone that's watching right now, trying to be like Darnell Holland or just trying to be that next guy that has dreams and aspirations of being in the NFL? Well, for me, it's you, you got to ignore everyone else, you know, talking in your ear all the time. Uh, sometimes those guys that are over complimenting you are, are limiting, limiting you. And those guys who are always negative are things that are people that don't need to be in your circle. So always check your circle, check the people that are around you and always work uh, and, and do the best you can do in all all things. And uh, the rest will honestly take care of yourself. But while I was outside the building, I ran into an NFL scout specifically with the Jacksonville Jaguars. And I had a chance to pick his brain for about a minute or two, and I asked him, what do you guys look for in these athletes by going to these pro days? He said, on top of evaluating them, because you can't find some hidden gems, they really want to analyze their character, their leadership skills, their morale, because in their minds, you never know. You could find that gem in the sixth round, someone like Tom Brady or Antonio Brown that's a really hard worker and can work their way to the top. And that specifically is the reason why these big name scouts are coming out to these lesser known schools. But if you guys like this video, make sure you guys subscribe to this channel and leave a comment down below. Congratulations, you made it all the way to the end of this video. You know what you should do if you're not tired of my voice yet? You should hit that T2F logo that just popped up on the screen because what that does, it gets you subscribed to the channel so you stay notified for more videos that we come out with. Go on, click it. For real, click it.